Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wink World. It's the topical back with another video. I'm Strange Wing, and today I have a film review for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Before we get into that, just like Mario, your boy needs some gold coins. So hit that thanks button and drop some change for your boy, Strange Wang. And if you do, I appreciate that. Well, let's get down to brass tacks. I gave the Super Mario Brothers movie a 6.3 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because I personally did not grow up with the Super Mario games. I played a few here and there with some friends or some cousins back in the day. But this is not something I have nostalgia for. And because of that, this movie, I just saw right through it. And it's safe filmmaking. It's boring. Because that's what safe filmmaking is. Is unoriginal, but for those 30 kids that was in that movie theater that I was in, it worked for them on every level. Yay! You had those kids laughing at every joke, because unlike me, who watch a lot of movies, they haven't seen that joke in three other or four other movies like I have. They haven't seen action like this on the screen like I have. So, for those little kids, this film worked for them all the way. So, it's going to be a hit for the kids. However, I feel, because of how many friends I have and their interest, this film shouldn't have been just a kid's movie. It shouldn't have been. And that's where I believe they went wrong. It should have worked on the level like a Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle or Shrek, where it's targeted to kids, but adults still love it. Mario is loved by people of all ages. The movie should have been too. The movie is definitely dumbed down, targeted to kids. It doesn't have any moments of true investment where you're just like, oh my god, Bowser's going to win. There's none of that. For those 7 and 5 year olds in the theater, it was. But for 26 year old and other adults who probably wouldn't go see this movie, it wasn't there. It wasn't like a video game where you're sitting there playing and you get frustrated because you just keep losing and losing and losing. It didn't have any of those qualities. It didn't have good filmmaking qualities in general. There was no extremely good dialogue. There was no action scenes that were original. There was nothing in this movie that was original. The voices, they kind of suck as well. The format of this movie has been seen by Strange Wang plenty of times before. So, does the Super Mario movie... Nah, does the Super Mario movie... Bro's movie suck? Yes, 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 yes! Does it work? 100%. And it's going to be a sequel because... Those seven-year-olds didn't go to that movie by themselves. They went with a parent or both. And if they had a brother or a sister or a sibling, they went too. So this movie's going to make a ton of money, especially during the spring break holiday. So marketing-wise, you people are fucking smart. But filmmaking-wise, you kind of suck. Because this film is not a good movie. And maybe if I grew up with Nintendo, I'll ask someone who has and see what they think about it. But I think it was just too dumbed down for an audience of all ages. That's just me though. But let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video. And then what? Subscribe. It's not a game, it's a